Yo, what's happening guys and welcome to your very first Angular 2 tutorial. Alright, so I'm super excited to create this course because I know a lot of you have been asking for it and I really enjoy working with it myself. And I know a lot of you are probably going to have a good idea of what Angular 2 is, but just in case you don't, it is just a JavaScript framework for creating dynamic web applications and this time around it is component based. It's not your typical MVC we're going to be working with here. And that just basically means that everything on the applications that we create is a component and we can control them individually in the code. For example, the navbar is a component, the sidebar is a component. Pretty much every element which stands alone on your web application is going to be a component. And we're going to learn much more about them in this playlist. It is also written with TypeScript and that gives us some extra functionality that we wouldn't normally have with vanilla JavaScript. And I'm gonna give you a quick primer on TypeScript as well, so don't worry if you don't know that. And it is also quite different from Angular 1. So if you've been working with that in the past and you move into Angular 2, then some things are gonna come as a, um, as a bit of a shock to you, but don't worry, I'm gonna explain everything as we go along. So before you start, I just want to warn you that we are going to need the Node Package Manager and for that we're going to have to install Node.js. Don't worry, it is super simple and I'm going to show you where you can download that and install it from. Uh, second of all, you're going to need to know a bit of JavaScript slash TypeScript and I've put slash TypeScript because that's what we're going to be writing in in this tutorial series but you don't really need to know it. It is very much like JavaScript, it is just a superset of it which gives us some additional functionality which I am going to explain as we go along and like I say I'm also going to give you a primer on it as well before we start. Finally, if you don't know HTML and CSS then you are in the wrong playlist my friends because you need to start off learning that first of all. Every web application pretty much requires HTML and CSS. So I've kind of split this playlist up into two and the first section is all going to be about the core features of Angular 2 and how it all works together. We're going to look at things like components, directives and templates. Then when we've got the basics covered, we're going to create a simple directory application from scratch and we're going to look at things like routing, services and eventually we're going to hook up our application to a data service called Firebase. All right, so here's just a quick preview of what we're gonna be building, just a simple directory application where we can list different ninjas and their belt color. And we can also add ninjas too by giving them a name and a belt color. And this is all gonna be hooked up to Firebase. Um, I've spelled purple wrong, which is why that is not being added, but we'll do it again. There we go. And we can also filter them by name and we can also delete them as well. So this is what we're going to be building and we're going to be building it in Atom, which is the text editor I'm going to be using for this playlist. Now, this text editor is completely free. You can get it from atom.io. I'll show you that website right here. Just go to this link and uh, download it here. Completely free and it's really cool. I'm using a couple of packages also for this playlist. The first one is going to be this thing right down here, which is called the Platformio IDE terminal so you want to search for that package if you want this and also I'm going to be using this language TypeScript grammars only package which gives us some syntax highlighting for TypeScript. I've also created a repository for this playlist which has got just a few assets in it which you can find in this folder it's just a style sheet and a logo and we're going to use that for our application so if you want to go and download those you can do right here I'll leave the link to this repository down below and you can just click this button and download it to your desktop. So there we go, that's your quick introduction to this playlist. In the very next tutorial I'm going to show you how we can download Angular and install it onto our computer.